and welcome to JT Guitar. It's here at the UK Guitar Show in London. We're going to take a look at some of the stalls, some stands, some effects, some guitars, and yeah, just give you an idea of what it's like coming to one of these trade shows. Let's take a look. So we're here with Chris at the Gordon Smith stand and he's going to tell us about these new models. What are these models called, Chris? Okay, well these are a variation of our normal single cuts. We're calling these a no-cut, funnily enough, because they have no cut. A um, little bit of a vintage twist on your standard sort of Gordon Smith. Obviously all fitted with the trapeze there. they fitted with our own home-wound P90. A uh, little variant on the pit guards. You can see there's a more pastel shade of colours going on there. It's even a celluloid pickguard on that one, a real nod to the uh, past there. Single piece mahogany bodies, single piece mahogany necks, Indian rosewood fingerboards, um, CTS uh, wiring components in there, switchcraft jack, pretty nice high spec guitars really. They look gorgeous, I really love that kind of vintage feel. And like how hot are those P90s? I mean, they're our standard P90 and it's it's really hot. I mean, uh, if you ask anyone who plays our guitars on a regular basis as the P90s, they, uh, they're feisty. I'll say that much. I think I look great. I really can't wait to give them a try. Yeah. Thanks so much for talking to me, Chris. JD from Stonefield and he's going to tell us a little bit about what the hell these things are. Hi, hi. so these are the Stinger series instruments. What they are is a 20 inch scale length, uh, six string. We have ones that are tuned uh, like a guitar, so this is a guitar register. Uh, tuned like a guitar, so standard E to E tuning like you would any other guitar. Uh, we have another one over here which is tuned in a bass tuning which is a low E, uh, EDAG, high C, high F. So still six strings. Uh, the original sort of concept behind these started uh, as part of a double neck series. And then uh, basically it was just a guitar version. So it was basically with a bass spacing to be able to play guitar parts, but with bass spacing, you use your same bass techniques that you use just on your regular uh, four or five string bass, but in, in a guitar register. So you can do all your double thumbing, all your sort of slaps and everything like that, just in with a bass feel to it. Um, and then, sort of, actually, this year at NAM, uh, I was I was on the stand and I was like, "Can we do a bass? Like, can we do a bass version of it?" And it was really just us having a punt, trying to see if we could. So that's how the bass series kind of turned out. And yeah, so we started playing with those, and they're just uh, really fun to play. Like, they're absurd. So you should have a go. Yeah, yeah, it looks nuts. I'm dying to have a go. Thanks yeah. so much for talking to me. No worries. Cheers. <laughs> guitars and he's going to tell us a little bit about this range. Hi Barry, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you very much. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, these Brian May guitars? Sure, um, essentially Brian is famous for making his own guitar over 50 years ago with his father and some 15 years ago the brief to us from Brian was to make an affordable replica under the Brian May guitars banner and essentially that's what these guitars are. So, um, as opposed to being several thousands of pounds, these guitars retail on the street normally for about 695 pounds. Um, 
and the range has developed into a Brian May bass, Brian May acoustics, and uh, Brian May ukuleles. So there's a whole Brian May guitars brand out there now, and essentially that was what our brief was. It's really cool, they look great. I've never seen this many finishes. I've seen the red, I've seen the green, but I've never seen this. I love that blue and the white and the, the natural wood. They're really great looking guitars. So where can people find more out about you guys? Well, you can go to brianmayguitars.co.uk online. You can even ring us in the office. We're only in bag shot in Surrey. So uh, we're pretty visible out there. That's great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's gonna look a little weird. You rolling? You get it? Okay, I don't want to do it twice. So I'm here with Doug from Auden Guitars and he's gonna tell us a little about this unique pickup system they've got. How you doing Doug? Yeah, great, good to see you. So we've got our whole new range of 2019-2020 Ordens with us and they're all fitted with the Brad Clark Supernatural pickup, which is a real breakthrough in pickup, acoustic guitar pickup technology and sounds I think the best natural sounding acoustic guitar pickup that's out there on the market. Awesome. Uh, so how, what exactly is it and how does it work? Okay, so it's different to most uh, acoustic guitar pickups in there in that there's no under saddle uh, ribbon in, uh, sitting in the under saddle. Instead, when Brad Clark, who uh, is the guy behind the pickup, when he was designing the pickup, he realized that the ribbon in the saddle slot is what vibrates to give the mid-range fizz that you hear on a lot of acoustic guitar pickups. So to get away from that, he did away with it completely and put an aluminium bar that sits behind the saddle, or behind the bridge, sorry. And that then has six individual pole pieces that go straight through the saddle slot, and the saddle sits directly on top of those pole pieces rather than in the slot. And what that means is that you're getting six individual uh, signals transferred into the brain of the pickup. So you've got great clarity, great string separation, and a natural air around each sound, which makes the guitar sound really acoustic and really natural, however loud you've got it amped up. Awesome, thanks so much for talking to me. Thank you. We're here with Lee from PJD Guitars, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about what they do. How are you doing, Lee, mate? I'm good. How are you? I'm not too bad. Not too bad. Excellent. So, how long have you guys been going for? Officially since 2010, uh, but only really full time in the last two years. So, yeah, it's going pretty well. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot of guitars here today, and um, yeah, the company's named after my father. He was a prop maker, so thought it fit in to name, name it after him, basically. It's great, that, I mean, the guitars look stunning. There's some really nice tops in here. Got to love those matte finishes and also the P90 pickups. Uh, where are the pickups from? So the pickups, are, they're basically, we use bare knuckle. Everything that we use is bare knuckle boot camp. The humbuckers that we use are True Grip or Old Guard. And the P90s are the same as well. And um, yeah, we just think they sound fantastic. They are really, I've heard those pickups. I've heard Rabia Massad demoing those pickups, and they're really, really, really good. Cool. Well, would you want to grab a model for us and talk us through some of the specs? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so this is our kind of uh, top end model. It's called the Carry Elite. So we do it with an F hole or without an F hole. Still exactly the same inside. And if I flip it over, you can see it's got a beautiful swamp ash back. We match the cavity covers as well. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very much and a beautiful roasted maple neck and a rosewood fretboard. Well, uh, it looks absolutely stunning and thanks so much for talking to me. Thank you very much.
But that was the UK Guitar Show 2019 here in Islington. Uh, it was a great show, really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.